there are very few places in the cinema world as consistently represented as the orphanage. Across the numerous decades of film, the orphanage has remained the physical embodiment of childhood loss and abandonment. The children housed within the orphanage may be cheerful, curious, compassionate, or any other virtuous characteristic. However, their singular goal is the same, to leave. No one wants to stay at the orphanage. At first, the orphanage of Claude Barris's My Life as a Zucchini appears no different. Described by one of the orphans as a place where kids go when no one is left to love them, the orphanage of Zucchini seems to represent all the innate beliefs the audience holds of orphanages. They are lonely, they are cold, they are a place you sleep but never your home. The story of My Life as a Zucchini follows a young orphan named Akar, who prefers to be called Zucchini after his mother dies. We watch Akar as he is taken into foster care and adjusts to life, as an orphan in his new home. The orphanage plays almost like a stop-motion one flew over the cuckoo's nest, as each orphan carries with them the baggage of their parents' parents' trauma. One boy eats toothpaste after his mentally ill mother told him it would clean his insides. One girl runs outside at the sound of any car arriving, calling for her mother, who is deported by the government. The orphanage is again a place to house the strange and neglected of society. However. This interpretation only lasts for the first third of the movie. As Zucchini progresses, the film reveals a sense of beauty hidden beneath the veneer of loneliness and dejection. The orphans, abandoned by their parents, find comfort in each other. The strange ailments brought on by the loss of their parents are then celebrated by their fellow children. What on the surface appears to be a problem or a scar meant to be hidden away is revealed to be a quality worth promoting. This is what makes My Life as a Zucchini a film worth watching. The movie subverts expectations by taking surface value assumptions and replacing them with qualities residing within. An orphanage is no longer the foreboding child prison, but rather an escape from a traumatic past. The classic childhood bully becomes a dejected child seeking any compassion. The bombastic stop motion formula is used to tell a smaller, intimate story. Every quality of the film works to support that surface level is just that, surface. There is so much more hidden underneath. At 70 minutes, the film doesn't waste any time developing unnecessary plot lines and convoluted backstories. The film has a message to tell and uses every minute to tell it. My only complaint is the animation doesn't seem as smooth as the other stop-motion giants working in the field today. However, the intimacy with which Zucchini tells its story makes this film well worth your time.